Top 10 Best New Performance Cars Under $50,000 Part 2 This is the part 2 of this video and if you haven't watched the part 1 of this video, I'll recommend you watch that first which will be linked down in the comment section. Before continuing with the video, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and a sub would be amazing. Ford Mustang The Mustang GT is a screaming deal and a great car. A new generation Ford Mustang was introduced in 2015. In 2018, it received a facelift and some power upgrades. There is no more a V6 engine offered with only 2.3 liter turbo and V8 engines carrying over. All engines can be had with either a 6-speed manual transmission or a new 10-speed automatic transmission. You get a 460 horsepower V8 in the best Mustang in years. Just make sure you spec the optional $3,995 performance package to get the most out of your GT. MagniRide dampers are also a highly recommended option and there's even a performance pack too with more aggressive Michelins. It's hard not to want a Mustang with a V8, but with 310 horsepower from its 2.3 liter turbo 4, the EcoBoost makes a compelling case for itself. Spend an extra $5,000 and get a performance package that squeezes 20 horsepower out of the EcoBoost and a host of chassis upgrades. Spend a little more and you get the MagniRide dampers too. The interior gets the MyFord infotainment system with Sync 3. For the first time, Ford has introduced independent rear suspension for this generation Mustang, which helps improve handling. Standard features include power windows, power steering, electric mirrors, keyless entry, central locking, manual AC, fabric seats, paddle shifters and alloy rims. The higher models get navigation, rear view camera, leather seats, more speakers, engine push start and automatic AC. Safety standards include driver and passenger airbags, electronic stability control, ABS brakes and traction control. Volkswagen GTI The GTI has always been one of the best hot hatches you can buy and the newest one is no different. And at this price, it's a steal. For the money, few cars made such high levels of practicality, refinement and performance. The Volkswagen Golf GTI continues to be a favorite of mine. Combining speed with handling, build quality, an attractive interior and room for the family, a well-equipped GTI hatchback costs less than $30,000. You can't find a better car for less and you have to spend a lot more money to get a better one. For 2020, the sportiest version of the practical and refined Golf is the GTI. Under the hood, it is powered by a 4-cylinder 2-litre turbocharged engine and having a 7-speed DSG automatic gearbox. It features a body kit with a built-in rear diffuser and wider side cells. Compared to the regular Golf, the GTI also rides on 17-inch or 18-inch wheels with lower suspension. Inside it gets sportier seats, steering wheel and pedals than the standard Golf. Features include CD MP3 stereo, USB or AUX inputs, Bluetooth, multiple airbags, optional sunroof, smart keyless entry and start, common power accessories and more. It is also available with driver profile selection which allows the driver to choose from several modes that alter the throttle mapping and engine management to the chosen style such as Eco or Sport. Mazda Miata or MX-5 The new MX-5 is truly spectacular. It might be the best car you can buy today. Jump for the club package and you get upgraded suspension and a LSD for around $31,000. You can't lose. Completely overhauled for the 2016 model year, this purebred sports car is now powered by an all-new Skyactiv G 2-litre 4-cylinder motor and mated to a 6-speed Skyactiv drive automatic transmission with paddle shifters. There is a 6-speed manual variant in many regions. Featuring the usual soft top passed down from its predecessors, there is also a retractable hard top variant known as MX-5 RF or retractable fastback, available from 2017 model year. Besides a few kilograms of weight, there are no significant differences between the soft and hard top variants, even in terms of performance. Interior features include CD MP3 stereo, 9 bow speakers, power windows and mirrors, auto AC, power steering, leather seats, smart key for keyless entry and ignition, auto dimming rear view mirror, navigation and cruise control. Additional features include chrome outer door handles, LED headlights, fog lamps, dual exhaust steps and 17-inch alloy wheels with run-flat tires. Safety features include dual front airbags and side airbags. ABS brakes, traction control, blind spot monitoring, stability control, tire pressure monitor, burglar alarm with immobilizer and rollover hoops behind the seats. 
Dodge Challenger. Of course, Dodge offers a ton of horsepower for not much more cash. The Challenger's Cat Pack has even more power than either the Mustang GT or Camaro SS with 485 horses from its Hemi V8. That's some serious value. The Dodge Challenger received a minor facelift and a new engine upgrade in 2015. The interior has been significantly improved as well. The Challenger utilizes retro styling that is largely a rethinking of the original 1970s Challenger's two-door design. The interior gets upgraded with a bit more gadgetry in the form of 8.4-inch Uconnect infotainment system and 7-inch customization display between the retro-inspired speedometer and tachometer. With a high sill, center aluminum gauge vessels makes the revamped interior extremely pleasing to the eyes. Through the Uconnect interface, you can now access the all-new Dodge performance pages that allows you to select different driving modes to adjust steering effort engine and transmission response, electronic stability and traction controls and standard launch control. It can also be optioned with a forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring and rare cross path detection. Sharing its platform, engine and mechanicals with other full size rear wheel drive Chrysler cars, the Challenger can be had with a 3.6 litre V6 or a 5.7 litre V8. More powerful challenges are also available as Red Eye, Hellcat and Demon models. But you have to shell out more cash for that kind of power. Standard features in the V6 include sporty suspension, cloth upholstery, alloy wheels, keyless entry with starter button, CD MP3 stereo, power accessories and not much else. Also available are a sunroof, racing stripes, rear sensors with a camera and the Uconnect touchscreen multimedia system with voice controls as well as navigation, hard drive and Bluetooth. Safety features include ABS, stability control, front, side and curtain airbags. For the same price as the Challenger, you can also upgrade to 4 doors with the Charger, Scat Pack and still get the massive 6.4 litre 485 horsepower Hemi V8. You also get 6 piston Brembo brakes up front and Napa leather performance seats. Toyota 86 or Subaru BRC You wouldn't necessarily think that the Toyota and Subaru working together would create a fun car. Well, it did. The Toyota Baru Twins are legitimate MX-5 competitors that were built with the enthusiast in mind. You can't go wrong with either of them. In what could possibly be the most hotly anticipated sports car of the decade, the Toyota 86 finally made its showroom debut as mid-2012 model. In 2018, it got a minor facelift. Available in various trim levels, the front-engine rear-wheel drive car comes with a Subaru-sourced 2-liter 4-cylinder direct injection boxer engine mated to either a 6-speed manual or automatic. For 2014, the base model was dropped in some regions. In some regions, there are a GTX trim for the manual now, while automatic gets VT and VTX trims. Also from 2016 model year onwards, all trims get the TRD body kit package. Some markets apparently do not offer the manual. In some regions, the manual transmission model was dropped for 2017. Standard features include clothes, sports seats, halogen headlights, fog lamps, CD or MP3 stereo with USB ports, Bluetooth, manual AC, common power accessories and a 16-inch alloy wheels with 205 by 55 tires as well as a stability control system with three modes, ABS and a full set of front, side, curtain and knee airbags. Most versions get a LSD. Available features in higher trims include auto AC, HID headlights, smart keyless entry with starter button, extra digital speedo, cruise control and 17-inch alloys with 215 by 45 tires, aside from dealer installed leather upholstery. It gets navigation with mid-range model, while the top GT model gets a body kit. Specs may vary between different countries. This list is not in any particular order and it all depends on your budget and interests. If you stuck around till the end, thanks a lot. It means a lot to me. If you've enjoyed this video, I'll be doing a whole lot more videos like this in the future. So leave a thumbs up and a sub would be amazing. Also leave down your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is Jitin and I'll catch you in the next one.